Cora Clopping is in the Storm Tracker Weather Center with a look at some of our fire activity. What are you seeing, Court? That's right, and Kelly, some news that doesn't look too bad this morning as far as what we're seeing on the fire perimeters for the mountain and mill fires yesterday compared to what we're seeing today. We're not seeing any real growth on those perimeters. Now, current conditions in this area specifically not too bad for the wind in this area. It's mostly being reported as light. Humidity did not recover well overnight, though. It's around 30 to 40 percent around most of these areas, a little higher in Etna, but again, closest to the fires, the humidity below 40 percent. Now onto the more recent hot spots, really not seeing much animating here. So that's the good news. It means the fires have not been as active over the last 48 hours and really 24 hours. Fire danger across the board today. Temperatures still dangerously hot. 105 to 112 degrees in the valley. Winds mostly sustained up to 10 miles an hour out of the north. Redding potential for gusts to 30 miles an hour, but most valley areas gust around 20 miles an hour and humidity in the single digits to teens. So it's going to be very dry and our fuels are dry as well, which means fire danger is going to be high when you pair that with the gusty winds. Here is when and where the worst of our fire danger will be. It's early to midday as the winds stay strongest. You can see it's mostly along I-5 in the valley. It starts to diminish this afternoon as the winds do, and then we see that picking up a little bit later tonight and some of our higher elevations. That'll do it for your Friday fire danger forecast.